All right, what I want to do next is show you how to change from a low profile beacon to a high profile beacon. Okay, so I'm going to use a couple beacons to demonstrate this. Um, but if you have a low profile beacon, we'll just take this one for example. Um, this one is a magnetic base um, with a low profile beacon. Um, you would first remove the polycarbonate dome and again if you can't press down and, and turn this counterclockwise um, you have the saddle base and you can use a desk or something to get a good turn on that. Once you get it turned counterclockwise then you can just wiggle that and pull that up. Sometimes the lens will stay up in there, sometimes the lens will stay down here. It just depends on the tolerance, um, the temperature of that. Um, so you take your dome off, then you have your lens, your optical lens there. And now we're looking at the LED emitter and the, um, the driver. This is called the driver because it drives the power to the light. Um, all the computer electronics and the programming are mostly in the driver here. And then we have the LEDs up here. So let's take a look at the high profile. So I have a high profile lens. So if we put this high profile lens on here, it's going to operate just fine. But the, the lenses are not only sized differently, but the Frenzel design is different, right? And that's just how this is shaped. So if I have these like right here next to each other, you'll see that the center of this one is higher than the center of this one. So when we put it on here, and it's in the lower position, the LED emitter is in the lower position, it's going to hit perfectly here and the light is going to work perfect with this optic. When we go to a taller Frenzel lens, we didn't move the, the LED up, so now we're going to have um, not the most optimized light output. So what we did is we created a two position um, bracket right here. So you would remove a screw, there's going to be a screw, there's two holes here, there'll be a screw in the top one and you would remove that out and then when you press in on that same um, screw area there it will release um, push the little button back so it'll release so you can pull your lens or your LED emitter up so there we have it now it's in the higher location oh and you put the screw back in so you're gonna put it in the next hole down so that you don't get this vibration as much. So there you go. So you'll do that and then you'll put your Frenzel lens in place there and now that LED is lined up with the perfect place on that and your polycarbonate goes right over here. If you have a um, there should be one of these included um, and that should already be attached to the lens and it should not come off of the lens but if it's loose, then throw that in there as well because you don't want light shooting out the top. Um, you want to have that in place. And then you would just press this all the way down and then give it a, a turn clockwise to lock it in place. Again, if you need to get a little bit more strength on it, you can push in and turn using that. Um, if you have the magnetic base, you've got the rubberized base that's going to hold it in place. You can do it on a tabletop pretty easy. And that's it. That's how you convert from a short profile to a high profile. The only thing you would have had to purchase is the dome and the lens. Everything else is included with your beacon, um, unless you're going to change colors.